Good morning everyone. Today I'm going to install this uh, hard start capacitor into the small 5000 BTU LG air conditioner. Uh, the reason for it is because I run it on this uh, small uh, portable ba battery pack generator and uh, when you start the air conditioner it does dip down the voltage quite a bit and it's kind of hard on this little inverter. It's 1500 watt reliable inverter. So uh, we're going to do some tests before and we're going to do some tests after just to see if these things really do help and we'll be able to see the voltage dip and I got the amp clamp meter so we'll be able to see that. So if you're interested stay tuned I'm going to get this taken apart and so we can start on some tests and start installing it. And I'm back. Got everything set up. Uh, the inverter is on. Uh, the air conditioner is still off. Hard capacitor, start capacitor is still out. I got my clamp meter hooked up. So it's set for hold peak mode. So basically it's going to show us the maximum uh, amp draw during a startup. So I got it hooked up to the life wire over there. Uh, fan is set to low. This is all the way up. So as soon as I flip this switch, it's going to show us the highest draw. I'm going to keep the camera on the inverter so we can watch the voltage dip and all that stuff before. And then we're going to come back to the clamp meter. There it goes. Nope maybe all right there we go all right i'm gonna flip the switch there we go it's pretty hard start and we're drawing 21 amps at the startup air conditioner is going so once that air conditioner gets going it's still only 2.2 amp draw so all right so 21 amps i'm gonna get the hard start capacitor hooked up and uh, we'll see if anything changes. All right, I'm back. Installation was extremely simple. I unplugged it first to make sure there's no power. I kind of waited, flipped the switch a couple times to make sure that there was no uh, power left in the stock capacitor. And then I did not touch any of the terminals with my hands or anything. So I just kind of slid those over without touching anything because I didn't want to get shocked. So uh, this, a uh, hard start capacitor fits right in there perfect so that that's great and uh, the way I hooked it up I hooked it up to that one right there and the one on the left uh, the reason being is because uh, we can go back to instructions it says uh, uh, connect the wires across the run, run capacitor uh, or com and herm on split capacitor so that's a split capacitor right there and uh, if you look at the diagram right here on the side this is where I connected the com and herm. So I connected it across these two. This is by not any mean editorial. I am not electrician by any or anything like that. This is I'm just following instructions. It says hook it up right there. And it also says that they're not polarity sensitive. So you can hook it up either way. So I'm just going by instructions. There's some guys on the internet say that the certain ones have to be connected somewhere, but this is straight from manufacturer. It says it is not polarity sensitive. You can hook them up like this. You can hook them up like that, however you want. Uh, that's what I'm doing. I hooked it up right there. And uh, I already have my inverter fired back up and plugged the air conditioner back in so we can watch what happens. Going back onto here, I don't have this set for hold peak, so I should probably do that. Hold this button right here. So that comes on. All right, so it's going to hold our peak for us. The fan is still set to low. This is still all the way up. So I'm going to have you guys watch over here once we start it and we can compare that voltage dip. And still pretty good voltage dip. Going back to here, still drawing 21 amps. So, uh,. I do not think that this capacitor made any difference, to tell you the truth, guys. Hmm. Alright, well, you guys saw it with your own eyes. Uh, we did not change the hemp draw, that's still the same. Uh, maybe different sound when it started up, that was kind of sounded a little shaky. But, uh, yeah. That did not change much for us at all. Alright guys, that was our test. Uh, so these start hard start capacitors 
I don't know. And suit yourself. I don't think it really did very much. Actually, let's do, let's do this. I'm gonna shut it down. I'm gonna wait about three more minutes. I'm gonna hit it again, and we'll just uh, we'll compare it one more time. So we'll do it one more time. We'll wait uh, for this to shut shut down because it says right here we gotta wait three minutes before restarting. So we're gonna wait three minutes. I'm gonna be right back, and we'll start it up one more time just to see if. Uh, We'll get a different result, but I don't think so. I think we should we'll probably see the same thing. I'll be right back. All right, it's been three minutes. So uh, I'm going to fire our amp meter back up. So I'm going to put it back onto AC. And uh, we're going to put it on a whole peak again. There it goes. All right, so this is still the same, still plugged in. I'm gonna show you that we're still on the low fan. That's all the way up. So I'm gonna turn it on. We'll watch the watch the voltage again. So as I get it to focus, I'm gonna start it. Okay, there we go. Well, maybe it just goes out of focus real fast. All right, this is not cool. There we go. All right, let's watch this. That was a little better voltage-wise. It went down to 98, it looked like. Started up pretty good. I'm gonna go back here, it's 20.05. So that dropped for about half an amp. But but again, this is not much difference. I. I believe this did not make much difference. You can tell it's working because it does make a little bit different startup sound, but it's not making much difference at all. So, uh, I mean, it was 10 bucks. I don't know. I just uh, wanted to eliminate a little bit of the load on the inverter when this thing starts up. So it's a little bit easier on it, but I don't think it makes much difference. I might just leave it in there since it's already hooked up and just put it together and then just run it like that since I already have it, but it's up to you guys whether you want to spend your money on this or not. So uh, uh, let me know what you think in the description. Uh, like the video and uh, I'll try to make more videos like I always say. So I'm going to try to get a little more content out there and do little tests like that. And uh, maybe we can both together figure some stuff out maybe there's better options out there if you guys do know uh, let me know for sure but in the meantime uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one